Hi everyone and welcome to a High Valley Couponer. Today is Monday, January 3rd. I know you guys are seeing this like Tuesday, January 11th, but we are kicking off another weekly follow me around for Weight Watchers and I'm so excited for this. This is actually my first official week. I started this last week, Wednesday, December 29th, and I wrote it out clear through today, Monday. All my weigh-ins are going to be on Mondays, so kind of how it's going to work is a week away. Watchers will be seven days. It'll be Monday through Sunday. I will weigh in Monday morning, first thing, see how much I lost for the week, and that's kind of how it's going to go for me in my weight loss journey. So if you guys didn't catch last week's video, go check that out. If you haven't, you'll hear my progress, and you also hear a lot of my backstory with food and my bad eating habits, and I'm for sure going to get more into that, um, I'm sure, as these go along. Um, check that out, but last week I actually lost a total of three pounds, so I started off this week at 239.6 pounds, which is a huge, huge progress. Like, I'm so excited for that. That's amazing. I lost three pounds for the week, so that's great, and I can't wait to do even more this week. So I want to first, before we even dive into anything else, I want to talk about goals because goals are so important, things to work towards, things to improve. I want to constantly be improving my health and wellness journey. Weight loss, of course, is the main goal, but, you know, I also just want to get healthy, even other things than weight loss. I want to see non-scale victories. I want to see my cholesterol go down. I want to see me not be teetering on pre-diabetic levels. I want to fit in clothes better. I want to do all those things, and that is why I'm embarking on this health and wellness journey. So this week, something I want to do better at is exercise. It's been a struggle bus. Last week, I barely exercised at all. I still lost weight. I know they always say that exercise is not a huge part of weight loss. Um, they say it's like 90% food, 10% exercise. But I still want to exercise because I know there are way other benefits, like way more benefits um, with exercise to your body other than just weight loss. It does a lot of things for you. And so I want to do that this week, um, even if it's just cardio, even if it's just walking for 30 to 45 minutes somewhere, even if it's I used to do ab workouts once to twice a week. I'd like to get back into that. Um, hit, I used to do hit workouts. I know some of you guys really mentioned the good benefits of lifting weights. I don't really know the slightest thing about that. So that might be something I really should study out and look into, but I really, really want to get better at exercise this week. Cause like I said, this is a weight loss journey, but it's also just an overall health and wellness journey. And so I want to, you know, focus on those things. So I want to do more exercise. I also want to kind of branch out a little bit on my food. Uh, I did really good last week, ate tons of fruits and vegetables, but I want to clean up the diet even more. I want to incorporate, well, I don't know if I mean that. My diet feels pretty good, but I also want to, what I mean is get some more variety in, try some different vegetables. Um, I tended to just eat zucchini last week and things like that. I'd love to add in some new vegetables and maybe things I've not ever tried before, do some Weight Watchers recipes, things like that. So there's definitely a lot of different things I would like to experiment with this week, and I'm just going to share the whole thing with you guys. I'm really excited for this. I'm loving this Weight Watchers series. It keeps me accountable, and I know a lot of you guys are enjoying seeing it. So anyway, guys, that is kind of all I got to say here in the beginning. Let's just dive right in with another week of Weight Watchers awesomeness. So a really, really easy breakfast idea is actually on the Annie's Organic Home Style Waffles. These are actually two points a waffle, which is amazing. So four points for two waffles. Then I just had some light syrup. Um, four points for two tablespoons. I didn't exactly measure it, but I don't think that's more than two tablespoons. So that is breakfast looks awesome. All right, so for dinner, a very lean dinner here, we got a grilled chicken breast, just pan, not fried, but just, I guess, pan fried, whatever, just with cooking spray at zero points, got some sugar-free barbecue sauce on it for zero points, got some seeds of change, organic Spanish-style rice, I got this couponing, a half a pack of this is eight points, so I got that, and then it's a little side salad, the cheese is a point, I used some Kraft fat-free dressing for a point, and I have some Baking bits on it for a point. I'm going to toss some tomatoes on as well. Those are free. And of course, the lettuce is free. It's this Organic Girl 50-50 Spring Mix and Baby Spinach. So awesome. Honestly, I usually eat iceberg lettuce. So this is a really good, um, really, really good change. And then we got this barbecue sauce here. It's the G Hughes Sugar Free. So yeah, going to enjoy this for dinner. I forgot to tell you how many points the entire meal is. This is all 11 points. So this will be awesome. All right, guys. I'm out getting some cardio in through mall walking. 
I don't know how much calories I'm burning doing this, but the point is I'm up moving, moving around, getting hydrated with some water and getting my workout in. So yeah, not a whole lot of options in Ohio during the winter unless I want to join the gym. And I don't really feel like doing that. So this is next best thing. So for dinner tonight, my dad was really nice and grilled us up some steaks here. So this is about a four ounce steak. So it is four points. Got some asparagus here with some olive oil. This actually is no points for the asparagus. I counted a point for a teaspoon of olive oil, but since I have like two cups of asparagus here, that gives me two points back, which is awesome. So really I made some points back on this. And then I have a baked potato here with some sour cream, bacon bits, and cheese. And this is three points for that because potatoes are free on my plan. So a really, really healthy, awesome dinner here. I'm super excited. All right. So for lunch today, um, I made a salad. It's kind of like a Greek salad, but not. Um, I kind of just used what we had. I don't have a lot of tomatoes. I usually put tomatoes on my salad. I don't really have any other vegetables. So what I got on here is I got some Tyson Grilled and ready grilled chicken. That is no points on Weight Watchers. I have some bacon bits here for two points. I have some banana peppers, which are free. I got like two cups of spring mix lettuce and also a little bit of iceberg. Um, I threw some croutons on here as well for two points. And I put some of this Kraft Light Ranch. So that is really, really good. I'm excited for this. It looks amazing. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we got some grilled zucchini with just some Morton seasoned salt that I got couponing. That's really good. Got a Tyson um, teriyaki chicken filet here. These are delicious. These are like four points. They're really good. And then for our side dish tonight, made a copycat Ruby Tuesday pasta salad recipe. This is delicious. They have it on the salad bar. But I lightened ours up because ain't nobody got time for full fat, which I know some of you guys came at me last week for the full fat stuff saying full fat's good for you. Well, according to my doctor, I need to not have full fat stuff. So you do you, I do me, live and let live. But anyway, um... I used light ranch and light mayonnaise, and I tweaked the recipe to do that so we can have healthier options in here. And this is nine points per serving um, for a total of five servings. And there's a lot of pasta salad here. So I'm excited for this. This all looks amazing. I'm gonna dive right in and eat this. Okay, guys, it is Friday actually now. And I wanna just give you guys an update. I know I've not actually sat down and talked to you all since Monday. Um, I've been showing you meals and things here and there, but, I'm still rocking it. I'm still really doing good with WW. I'm tracking every single day. Um, I will say I've used up my weeklies at this point. Um, and so it's a little tough. I am currently, I'm not gonna lie about it. I am at negative five weeklies, which is not great, but it's okay. Um, I'm just, you know, making healthier options, having more point friendly options right now. And so came to Subway today and I got an awesome salad. I'm super excited for this salad. Let me just show it to you in all its glory here. And by the way, guys, it's literally 16 degrees. It's freezing. We've had snow. It's awful. But I got this beautiful salad here. Uh, it's got all the things on it. It has chicken, um, cheese, tons of lettuce, spinach, tomato, cucumber, banana pepper. I ordered some, which I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's buried in somewhere. Yeah, it says they added it. It's I added some avocado. Oh, yep, there it is. I added some avocado actually for two points. Um, I told you guys earlier, I am trying to expand my horizons and eat new produce items. And so I know avocado is kind of a higher fat item, but um, it's two points for subways. So I went ahead and did that because I like avocado. It's just um, kind of rare that I ever get it. So. Um, yeah, I thought that'd be good. I'm trying to expand my horizons a little bit. So Subway's a really good option. Even if you get a sub, they have really good options there. Um, so yeah, but that sounds amazing. I'm really, really excited. As for exercising, I have done cardio several times this week, which is great. Um, I have not for the last couple of days, so I need to get back at it tonight. But with all the snow and the cold, it's been pretty rough. Like last night, if I would have went to the mall and went mall walking, like the roads are pretty covered in snow by four o'clock. So it was crazy. So because of that, I have not done any cardio. That's what we'll try to do. All right, guys, it is now Monday, January the 10th, and I'm here with our weekly weigh-in update to see how this week went. And before I share the final numbers with you guys, I have to just kind of give you a progress report because this week has been so good. This week was amazing. I am so proud of myself for a variety of ways. 
The first way would be expanding my food horizons. I ate things this week I normally wouldn't have ate. Um, and like avocado, you guys saw that from Subway. I never eat avocado. I don't dislike avocado. I just never eat it. Um, and so I ate it this week and I'm so happy about that. That was a huge, huge win for me. I had a different, um, it is a healthy fat. And I want to say this, I don't think that fat is like the devil or something. I know some of you guys really got upset last week that I said I was watching fat and eating lower fat like dressings and things. Um, as I've said, I'm not doing keto. I have my GI doctor. They don't recommend keto. Um, I do have Crohn's disease and eating all that meat and stuff is just not good for somebody with Crohn's disease. I know some of you guys are going to disagree with that, but I take the words of my doctors. Those are the number one most reputable people in my opinion. And then my family doctor, you know, I've talked to her about losing weight because it needs to happen. And she 100% recommends what I'm doing. Um, she even suggested going, um, she wants me to watch my fat completely. Um, she wants me to go lower fat and eat more plant-based things. So um, I'm not cutting out meat or anything. I'm, I'm making sure my meat is lean as can be. Um, but for those reasons, keto is just not going to fit my lifestyle. And quite frankly, I don't want to do keto. And so some of you guys really got upset with me last week when I said I was eating lower fat stuff. And you know, if keto works for you, I'm not saying keto is wrong. Keto is probably one of the most quick ways to lose weight long term. It probably is. If you commit to the keto lifestyle, you will drop the weight and you will improve your health. But I think the way I'm doing it will improve my health too. Maybe, you know, maybe I won't lose 12 pounds in the first week or something because I'm still having some carbs. But for me, it's all about that long-term balance. That's, that's what it's about for me is being able to stick with this, quite frankly, for the rest of my life. You know, once I lose the weight, I won't necessarily be sitting around tracking every day, but I'll know, um, you know, what I need to do to maintain my weight with these eating habits. And so for me, that that's where my life's at. I, I That's where I'm at. I do want to say I'm not trying to sit around eating a bunch of artificial sugars. Like I don't use Splenda. I don't use aspartame, anything like that in my food. It does pop up in a couple of the things I eat. Um, but for the most part, I, I really do try to refrain from that as possible. And the whole thing with this is I want to eat clean as possible. And so this week I expanded my horizons. I had so many vegetables. I had a salad every single day, almost every single day, either for lunch or dinner. That was amazing. I'm so proud of myself for that. I had the zucchini one day. I had asparagus one day. I had peas in that pasta salad one day and green pepper. Like, guys, I really rocked it this week with incorporating in more vegetables. And that is huge because, guys, I was not eating vegetables very much. I mean, I'd eat one with dinner, but... For lunch, I usually was having a frozen meal and some chips. I was not having a salad. I was not having any vegetables. I wasn't. And that just shows you how bad my eating habits have gone. I mean, and growing up, that's not how my life was. Growing up, I had salads for lunch all the time. And I love salad. But it just got to the point where I had gotten so accustomed to eating, you know, junk food that it kind of just became second nature. And, um... And I think one of the huge reasons this week where I lost weight is because I, I am a horrible night eater. And I can't even tell you guys, I would, like, when we go watch TV at night, I would just eat snack after snack after snack. I would get chips, crackers, um, cookies, candy. I, I bet there were nights I was having upwards 500 to 1,000 calories. I, that, that, that's embarrassing to admit, but that's where I was. And... Yesterday was the biggest test, the biggest test of my weight loss journey. Yesterday, if you saw the vlog from last night, we went out of town for the day, just a little day trip, and we had, um, we ended up stopping and getting ice cream at McDonald's. The ice cream cone was 10 points, not horrible, but I didn't have the 10 points left, so I went over. And you know what? Normally what would have happened is if I'd gone over by that, I'd be like, forget it. I screwed up. We're just going to eat what we want the rest of the day. And I didn't do that. I'm so proud of myself. I did not do that. I did not just throw in the towel and be like, we're going to eat whatever we want tonight and just, you know, whatever. No, I stuck with the plan and it was okay. 
I still lost quite a bit of weight this week and I am so excited for that. So this week has been amazing. Um, and I want to share my results with you. So when we started this last Monday, we were clocking in at 239.6 pounds. And today we are clocking in on the scale at 237.4 pounds for a total loss of 2.2 pounds. And since our starting on December 29th, we have lost 5.2 pounds. 5.2 pounds. That is awesome in my book for two weeks. Not even two weeks, actually, because the December 29th is on a Wednesday. It's so like half of a week. And we've lost 5.2 pounds. So as you can see, my program is working for me. And I am so happy with it. This has been a great week. Working in exercise. I exercise several days this week as well. And that's something I just want to keep doing this week. Um, I'm just so proud of myself, honestly. It's been a great, great, great week. So yeah, that's all I got for today's Weight Watchers update. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so, so much for watching.